planet's deep ocean is a realm that remains as mysterious as the surface of the moon. At depths below 200 meters, sunlight vanishes and the world becomes an endless expanse of black water with crushing pressure, near freezing temperatures, and almost no food. Yet this otherworldly environment is not barren. It is filled with organisms whose adaptations read like science fiction. Pressure here can exceed one ton per square centimeter, a pile of elephants pressing on each square centimeter of your body. But life has not merely survived. It has thrived and diversified into forms and behaviors that challenge our assumptions about biology. To explore this world and its inhabitants, we must understand the physical challenges, the evolutionary innovations that conquered them, and the modern technologies that allow humans to peek into the abyss. At around the thousand meters, water pressure is about 100 times greater than at the surface. By 6,000 meters, it is 600 times greater, and in trenches more than 8,000 meters deep, it approaches 1,000 times atmospheric pressure. Such pressures would crush gas-filled cavities and deform conventional skeletal structures. Instead of armor, deep-sea animals often use softness and chemistry to survive. Many deep creatures have gelatinous bodies, flexible or reduced skeletons, and avoid gas-filled organs. Soft tissues and high water content help equalize internal and external pressures, preventing collapse. Fish that in shallower water use buoyant swim bladders to stay afloat have replaced them with fatty livers or low-density bones. Cellular membranes are tuned with special lipids that remain fluid under pressure. In some deep-sea comb jellies, three-quarters of the membrane lipids are plasmalogens. These cone-shaped molecules are bent, allowing membranes to remain sturdy and flexible under crushing pressure and preventing them from splitting apart. The adaptation, termed homeocurvature, helps membranes maintain their shape and function at extreme depths and is separate from adaptations to cold. 